There it goes. Hey, good morning, ladies and germs. It's us, Will and Axel. Mm -hmm. We're going to pray for it. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful meal we're going to share together and with others. And please continue to watch over other people and uh, all our family, the family that need help. Amen. Amen. Well, here we are having breakfast, mm -hmm. and uh, and here we are doing the classic bang, even though we don't like making. We're doing the classic bang, but even though we don't really want to do the bang, mm -hmm. um, we don't want to be like everybody else. Of course, you see my camera's up and down. I, I like I said, I haven't been able to find my landscape on my camera. Um, either I'm too lazy or I'm stu too stupid, either one or I'm a little bit of both. But anyway, what we did today, we got some. Uh, we got some Canadian bacon, Canadian bacon, and we got some regular bacon. bacon, and we have a scrambled egg that was scrambled inside the bacon fat mm. over some corn tortillas, and um, we're having a bacon feast, a bacon fest, mm -hmm. and um, we we love it. We're not, we're carnivorous animals. We love bacon. We love ham. We love we're to. Not vegan. We are not vegan, and um, hey, pass me that top of teal. And um, it's got an arch open. We 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 enjoy eating a good hearty breakfast, mm -hmm. and um, we do not Most important meal of the day. Yeah, exactly. We got some orange juice with a little with Axel, and I got myself my cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are um, staunch supporters of uh, start your day right. Mm -hmm. Got mm -hmm. ourselves our top of teal. Got myself my little artichoke cart right here. Mm -hmm. Love artichoke hearts, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whoa, hey, watch out. Hey, what's up? And um, so a lot of you are probably thinking about, hey, man, you guys are got, eating very, very bad food for you. You know, it's not healthy. It's not healthy eating all that stuff, all that ham. And I got something to tell you. I've seen who's, people here eat worse. Not only that, I mean, who's to say it's not? I mean, we're, we're eating like kings. This is what kings used to eat. And by the way, um, who said to live forever? Who said you're going to live forever, you know? Who is that, Affaville? You know, you're not going to live forever. And um, now you have old age is overrated. That's true. Like, you got to get in there, but you got to get in there, shorty. Like, what's up with that? Yeah. You work every day for your, uh, the rest of the, your life, and then boom, you die. Yeah, exactly. I have a lot of uncles that I can tell you that, that worked all their lives, and then were getting ready to retire, and then boom, they're dead. Um, a good example would be Yul Gibbons. I don't know if you guys remember Yul, Yul Gibbons. Um, he was a health fanatic, health nut. And um, what he did was he used to, uh, he was known for the famous quote, um, have you ever eaten a pine tree? Many parts are edible. Well, apparently they weren't all that edible because uh, he left us when he was 64. Probably, I think he probably got like a pine cone lodged in his throat or in his colon or something like that. And, and anyway, uh, you know, health food, he ate it until he was 64 and then he died. Um, great example, you know, let's eat health food. And he was eating it during the early 60s. So, yeah, the what's only, up with that, man? I'm 59. Only, I'll be 60 in August. The only reason... I'm still going, dude. Yeah, okay, so... The only know. reason to eat health food is if you want to die of old age. Yeah. But hey, you, here's another example. Excuse me, little Axel. I didn't want to... Oh, sorry. But here's another example. Jim Fix. I don't know if you remember Jim Fix, but was he great. was another um, health fanatic. He was a runner. He wrote a lot of books about running. He died at 52. What's up with that? Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I'm 59, worked all my life, worked hard. So all you gotta do is just work hard and mind your own business. You know, you know, you wanna live forever, you'll live forever. But, um, geez, I'm, I'm so rambling, uh, you know, I'm not even eating, but. <laughs> it's good. It's really artichokes, good. great. I'm not a big artichoke fan, but he is. Coffee. Superb. Mm -hmm. Good old coffee with a big old dollop of uh, sugar and a nice little, and a, a little dollop of, of cream and a big old spoonful of sugar, just like Mary Poppins does. And um, we're okay. I know who could drink and, black um, coffee. Why would you want to drink black coffee? Why would you drink yourself for that? Mm. Shout out to my homie, uh, J Jaime Eats. And um, sitting here in Pomona, California, having our breakfast. Yeah. Um, and uh, as you notice, you know, I'm normally here by myself doing these little McBung things because Axel, he'll push, Axel, 
pushes me around and we talk about different things. But, but he's the, here. The weather has been. Under well, the weather. well, he's here from school because apparently he had a concussion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he had a concussion on Friday or when was that? Monday. Sunday. No, you got a concussion Sunday. Mm-hmm. You went to school on Monday, mm-hmm. Monday, and you're like, "Oh, I got a headache." Oh, and they sent you home, and he's got to be here for two or three days. What were you? What were you skiing over there in Mount Baldy? No, over it was there? sledding. Sledding in Mount Baldy in, mm-hmm. in, in uh, Pomona, right? Yeah. Or Mount Baldy in Pomona, or was it at Big Bear? One of the two. Yeah, one of those ones. You know him and his sisters. Yeah. Well. You know, what can I say about that? Right, guys? Mm-hmm. The old sledder mm-hmm. Anyway, um, there's nothing much we're going to talk about. Just a bunch of random stuff as we eat our breakfast. Mm-hmm. And glad you guys could join us here. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of, you know, I, I watch a lot of a lot of uh, shows on, uh, on, on, on YouTube. And there's this one guy. Oh, God, I, I should have should have watched him. But uh, anyway, I'm not going to dog on anybody. Mm-hmm. Just gonna eat my food. Mm-hmm. Eat my artichoke heart. Mm-hmm. Do you wanna live forever? Who sings thing, that song? I have no idea. But you know, I know one of the things I didn't know. That was the, Remember, you can wrap it up in a tortilla, fool. Not tortilla fan. Huh? Because we are old time, we are, we are Chicanos from old school. Old school Chicanos. Yeah, well. We don't have haircuts like Manny Moe and Jock, you know, like. i seen this kid who had a haircut like Moe from the Three Stooges the other day. I, I, I said, man, damn, is that style coming back or what? And, um. I don't want to be cruel or anything, but I don't even think that those people, that family knew who, who the Three Stooges were, to be honest with you. Well, obviously, it was their son. Right? Yep. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey. But, um, yeah, you guys remember the Three Stooges? I sure do. Or, or, or was that the Pep Boys? Manny, Moe, and Jack. Pep Boys. I don't remember. All the same to me. Pep, Bo- Pep Boys on the corner of Mission Boulevard, is it? Or that Hope Boulevard in Pomona? I can't remember. That place still up there? I haven't been there for a while. We just stay down here in P- where we live in Pomona. You think living in California would go bring you all those sorts of places, but no, we just kind of say. <clears throat> hey, did you hear about the um, um, Disneyland going up in price? Tuesdays and Thursdays, 104 for one day pass. On um, on the on Friday and Saturday, I believe. I don't know if it's included on Sunday. Two hundred dollars for a one day pass to get into Disneyland. I believe. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? I think so. I think um, Disney's trying to survive. In reality, they're not going to survive because their business practices are getting, getting shadier and shadier. And they, Disney own, already owns 40% of all movie companies. Orion? Huh? Who? Disney owns all, almost 40% of all the, mov- the movie industry. Wow. And if that's not a monopoly, I don't know what is. Well, believe it or not, it's not considered a monopoly until somebody takes you to court for it. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that. Sorry about what? Oh, sorry about not talking while I'm eating, but killing time. Today's not one of those talky days. Entertaining, engaging, fun. Entertain. This is entertaining, engaging, and fun. Where's the balloons? I had some balloons here. <laughs> that would have made everything perfect for YouTube. Mm-hmm. That's what you need for YouTube. You need to be entertaining, engaging, and fun. Uh-huh. And you got to be informative. And I was informative. I just told you about the prices of uh, Disneyland. Mm-hmm. 
They went up today. What's the day? Today, the 11th of February or something like that. I think so. Who cares, really? But um, so I, I accomplished everything I had to do on my video here today mm -hmm. with me and the little half half. We call him half half Axel. Oh, oh, well, oh, that's the bell. You know what we say? Okay. Hasta. Wait, I have to watch your nacho. Watch your nacho.